It took overtime to finish him. But the San Antonio Spurs advanced to the NBA Finals and are the 2014 Western Conference champions. In the NBA Finals, they'll be taking on the Miami Heat. Yes, folks, this is the WC. World Championship breaking news slash NBA Finals breakdown prediction video. Let me just first off say this, that the NBA playoffs have been something very, very memorable this year. We've seen the rise of new stars and we've seen the fall of major teams. But before we you know, get into the, the breakdown of the NBA Finals, let's talk about the, um, the, OC, the OKC Thunder in their season. Now, they've had ups and downs. Westbrook, you know, I, it was a, there was a time and point where I thought Westbrook was going to be done for the season. He came back. Um, there was a time and point where Sergi Baca was not going to even play in this series. He came back. But in the end, when you play as a team, all right, keyword team, when you play as a team, and it's not just two guys, Carrying the entire team, like you know, OKC, you know, and I know some people going not going like that, but if there's one thing that OKC probably needs to work on, they have Reggie Jackson, they have you know Sergi Baca, you know, they they they've got Perkins. It just seems like they're missing one player. It just feels like they're missing that bench scoring, and I hate to say this, it still feels like they're missing James Hart. All right, it really does. Because, you know, if it's not Durant and if it's not Westbrook, you know, Ibaka can get the job done from time to time. But if you're depending on Ibaka to put up 25 and 10, all right, it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. All right. They're missing maybe just one more shooter. And that's something that, you know, it just comes up in games like this. All right. One more shooter here. Maybe they win this game by three. But it was a close game. And they had a great season. OKC Thunder, Durant, you still the MVP. You still the real MVP. Uh, you played like the MVP this year, but it just wasn't enough to take out the San Antonio Spurs for the second year in a row, taking on the Miami Heat. Now, let's do a full breakdown of the NBA Finals. We'll start with coaches. Same thing like it was last year. Popovich versus Spolstra. And in that matchup, the advantage has to go to Popovich. I mean, it's just it's just one of those things where this is an X and O call. All right, this is just a mind game call. And no offense to Spolstra when it comes to the breakdown between the coaches, but I'm gonna tell you like this: if I was coaching LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, I win three championships too. I win four championships too. All right, the talent on the floor, you know, kind of speaks for itself. But Spolstra has, you know my respect because of the fact that these guys have large egos they got some big egos let me just say it like that they got big egos and to keep these guys under control it has to be some kind of mind trick all right to keep all these guys egos you know control but the thing is is that the miami heat have such of a a coordination to the point where it's just like you know everybody has to define roles and i think that Spolcher does a very good job of defining those roles but at the end of the day Papa bitch has got to be they talk about you know Phil Jackson like he's the Zen master or whatever you know Papa bitch must have you know he must be something close to that because you know he gets the best out of his team and in the NBA playoffs getting the best out of your team as you can see with the Indiana Pacers is important all right you can have all the talent in the world on the paper but you have to get the best out of your team in order to get to the NBA Finals. And that's what Popovich has. So when it comes to coaches, still, it still has a change from last year. All right, Popovich has the okay in this one. He has the advantage. Now let's talk about wild cards in this series. So let's talk about them. Let's talk about the players that are going to make a difference in this series, whether you like it or not. All right. As much crap as I give Chris Bosh. All right, he is the main, probably one of the main reasons why the Miami Heat have been to the Eastern Conference Finals and the NBA Finals the last four years. All right, I mean he's one, he's been one of the main reasons why they've been here. So in this series, I'm expecting for him to be 
you know, if, if the Miami Heat are going to 3 P, it's definitely going to be because of him. And then on the flip side, you look at the San Antonio Spurs. I can pick, you know, just about anybody. But you know who I'm going to pick? I'm going to pick Green. I'm going to pick Green. Because that guy right there, I think that he, you know, people talk about Paul George. All right? I think that Green just has the potential to be a superstar in this league. I, I, there's just something about him. You can say the same thing about Leonard. Those two guys are the core of that team. All right? As Tim, Junk, as Tim Duncan gets older, as Ginobili gets older, as Parker gets older, they have a good core going into the future where, you know, they can lose one of those, you know, they, they can lose one of those three guys and really not miss a step. And I expect for Green to kind of establish himself just like he did last year all right, in the NBA Finals and probably rub it up another level and show people that he is the difference maker in this series. He, you know, he's basically going to be the guy for the San Antonio Spurs, all right, that wild card. And then Chris Bosh on the other side. I mean, it's just going to be a good matchup between, you know, potentially those two guys. But they're not going to be checking each other directly. But, you know, those two are the wild card in their series for the respective teams. Keys to the series for both teams. Now, let's start with the Miami Heat. Keys to the series for, my, for the Miami Heat, once again, the same thing that they use, you know, I, I feel as though if it's not broke, don't fix it. Use LeBron as a decoy, all right? LeBron was the biggest decoy on the floor against Indiana, and I wouldn't expect for Spolster and the Heat to deviate from that game plan. It worked so well against Indiana. Indiana looked overmatched from, you know, from game two on, and I'd expect for, you know, you know them to basically use LeBron as a decoy to kick it out. For Battier for three, for Lewis for three, um, Chalmers, Cole, you know, I'd expect for these guys to get, you know, a lot more shots than LeBron in this series. But LeBron's going to be LeBron. But the key for, you know, Miami's three-peat is not necessarily going to be LeBron putting up 30 and 15, all right? Don't expect for that to happen. If, if LeBron puts up 30, if he averages 30 and 15 this series, the Miami Heat are going to lose this series. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? All right. All y'all people out there, you need to listen to this. All right. If it's all on LeBron, there's not going to be a three-peat. All right. If LeBron averages 30 and 15 in this series, they're not going to win another NBA championship. I want you guys to, I want you guys to understand that. All right. LeBron must be used as a decoy. The rest of this team have to hit those shots. You've seen what Ray Allen did to Indiana, that that needs to happen to San Antonio in order for there to be another championship in Miami. So look for that. And for the San Antonio Spurs, this is something that San Antonio just does better than everybody. All right. Rebound, offensive rebound, and ball rotation. They're the best in the league at doing it. All right. Parker is the, look, you know, Parker is probably arguably, you know, the best guy in the league at getting into the lane and distributing the ball and finding wide open shooters these guys just have to use their ball rotation something that they kind of deviated from last year that kind of got them in trouble that's the reason why they didn't beat the heat that's the reason why they dropped i think it was game three with that ray allen three you know they just weren't you know there was a time and point in that game where they just they just weren't passing the ball and i think that popovich is going to have these guys you know revved up and he's going to you know have these guys passing the ball and, you know, that's what that's what I expect to be the key to the game for, you know, San Antonio. Ball rotation. It's been it's been that for the entire playoffs. If you watch the San Antonio Spurs, it's been ball rotation the entire playoffs. And it's not going to be, like I said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Same thing with LeBron being a decoy. LeBron is last the video decoy the entire playoffs. I said that the Miami San Antonio's were ball not favored to win this series. Rather Basically, the entire OKC playoffs. That's the reason why they beat you know, OKC. They're not, they're not favored to win this series. All right. Um, ball rotation. You know, the that's official betting the odds might say something San Antonio different. Spurs. But to me, I think that they're you know probably minus one, minus two going into this series when it comes to winning this series. Just the intangibles. Just everything going against them. They have to steal one of these games in San Antonio, one of these two games in San Antonio. And I think that they will take one of the first two games in San Antonio. Going against the odds, against all odds, 
I think that LeBron James and the Miami Heat for the third year in a row, all right, three out of four years, will be the NBA champions. All right, I think that the serious MVP is probably going to be LeBron James. It could be Wade. Might be Bosh if, my, if Bosh hits enough threes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> if Bosh hits enough threes. But for San Antonio to win this series, like I said, it has to be ball rotation. If San Antonio wins it, you know, I wouldn't be shocked. Tim Duncan is a Hall of Famer regardless if he wins another championship. All right? He's a Hall of Famer regardless if he wins another championship. And I think that this is just going to be another chance for LeBron James to basically submit his legacy as one of the greatest of all time. All right? One of the greatest of all time to ever play the game. So this is the WC. NBA Finals 2014 Breakdown. From wall to wall. I hear the music in the back. It's so it's so serious right now. I hope you guys enjoy the finals. Make sure that you like it. Share it. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And until next time. Peace out.